Hey, Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. By the way, this is a deck that I created. It's called the 411 Astrology Deck. If you would like to look at it, purchase it. The link is in the description box below. Okay. Messages for Scorpios at this time, Spirit. All right, we have Jupiter coming out. Okay, I like it. Luck, fortune, abundance, spirituality, philosophy, education, expansion, broadening your horizons. Jupiter retrograde, a time of philosophical growth. Governed by the Zodiac Sagittarius. And then we have Earth Energy at the bottom. You can have Earth in your chart, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Sagittarius here. Okay? You could also be dealing with any of these signs. So let's see what's going on. Jupiter is the planet of luck, fortune, and abundance, Scorpio. We had that come up in a reading um, maybe a little over a month ago. I was picking up on that Jupiter energy. I think it's when, like, there was some something happen, happening astrologically with Jupiter, okay? Some of you could be expanding your education, going back to school here, traveling, um, being very open-minded at this time. I do feel like there is a lot of luck, fortune, and abundance headed your way. I don't know what's going ash going on astrologically with Jupiter right now, Scorpio. So maybe that might be important. Um, see where you might have any Sagittarius placements or uh, what sign is in Jupiter here for you. But something here is significant around the planet of Jupiter for you, Scorpio. Why is Jupiter here? Okay, five of wands. So wanted to come out. So here, Scorpio, there may have been some sort of competition, jealousy, uh, drama that you may have been in or somebody may have been trying to put you in. Okay, I feel like you're beating the competition in some sort of way. Tell me about Jupiter here for Scorpio, the high priestess. Follow, keep following your intuition, Scorpio. Your intuition is not uh deceiving you it's not leading you in the wrong direction i feel like a lot of you could be educating yourselves more on the occult esoteric spirituality really tapping into the universe the divine your intuition a lot of you could be studying um reading on these things your intuition is very strong right now your spiritual gifts your psychic abilities are very heightened some of you could feel some sort of change that's coming in. You could have Pisces in your chart or something about Jupiter and Pisces. <laughs> Interesting. I never really pay attention to the letters here on the high priestess, the B and the J, but they're literally saying JB, so... <laughs> And then I heard Justin Bieber. So something significant about Justin Bieber. Maybe you like Justin Bieber. Uh, maybe his music is significant to you. Interesting. Justin Bieber. Okay. There are a lot of J's here. The letter J could be very significant. They're really pointing me to the, to the letter J here. Your letter, your name could start with the letter J or somebody you're dealing with here, Scorpio. Tell me more about Jupiter. The six of pentacles. So equal give and take generosity um, coming in. There could be someone coming in to be generous and charitable with you here, Scorpio. Again, there's that luck, fortune, abundance. Some of you may have uh, recently given to charity in some sort of way. Um, I feel like the universe is giving back to you, Scorpio, because you've given so much. This is this is like the universe balancing out the scales here or your spirit guide. Like I feel like whoever this is, is some sort of spirit guide who's balancing out the scales for you here, Scorpio, and giving to you what is owed to you. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You've been waiting a while to reap the rewards. Yup, and you're about to. So there's a lot of luck, fortune, and abundance coming towards you. A lot of wealth, money, financial increase. 
a lot of the same message that has been coming out in these readings, Scorpio. You could be 26 years old. 2026 could be significant. I don't know why they're wanting me to go that far ahead, but something about the next three years could be very significant for you. There could be a lot of luck, fortune, and abundance that is transpiring for you in these from here in into these next three years, Scorpio. The Queen of Cups. There could be a water sign, feminine energy who wants to, um, male or female, but somebody in their feminine energy. I feel like this is somebody who genuinely, like, they care for you. They they like you. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. Um, but they care for you. They like you. I'm hearing that, like, they admire you. There's something here. This Queen of Cups could be wanting to come in and be generous towards you, Scorpio. This could also be somebody who's very intuitive. You may have helped this person in some sort of way. The high priestess here, Scorpio, you could be a psychic, a tarot reader, a spiritual practitioner. You could do something in divination or spiritual practices here. And there could be somebody who is, there could be people who are needing your services, your help. Um, Queen of Cups here. Your intuition is very spot on right now your emotions your feelings like trust everything that you're feeling right now scorpio i feel like there's definitely could be a water sign feminine energy here who wants to be generous or give back maybe you've helped them in some sort of way ace of swords yeah Also, I feel like Scorpio, because you're doing things from the heart, the Queen of Cups is somebody who does things from the heart. Uh, you know, they don't do things with a hidden agenda. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords. So the truth, you know what I'm saying? You're very. Uh, the Queen of Cups is somebody who does things from the heart. They don't do anything with a hidden agenda. They don't do something, you know, favor for favor. Or if I do this or give to this person, they're going to give back to me. Like, that's not how this person sees it. Or how you see it, Scorpio, if, you know, you're in this Queen of Cups. I feel like the High Priestess Queen of Cups could be you together. But this Queen of Cups could also be in a different energy as well. So anyways, take it as it resonates. I feel like, um, again, you're, you're somebody who is very giving, but you do it from the heart, you know, out of the kindness of your heart here, Scorpio. You don't, it's not like you're looking for anything in return. You do understand, like, the law of attraction or, like, you know, everything that you put out into the universe, you're going to get back times 10. You know, it's that type of energy. You understand this, but you don't do it for those reasons. Not with the Queen of Cups here. You do it because that's who you are. You're compassionate. You're kind. You're generous. You're kind hearted. And this is why the universe is repaying you. This is why Jupiter is on your side. Why there's luck, fortune, abundance. Jupiter is connected to what? The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is good luck, good fortune, abundance. Things going in your favor when it's upright. Wow. Okay. Anything else here for Jupiter coming out? Three of Pentacles. You may have somebody or people who want to work and collaborate with you. A lot of you are really just collaborating with spirit right now, with your um, spirit team. Let's put Jupiter here. All right. There's definitely expansion coming in here with a three of pentacles. Threes speak of growth and expansion. It's like a lot of you trust your intuition, the high priestess. You're very intuitive. You, you can pick up on whether or not you want to collaborate with certain people here. If people are trustworthy um, or who's trustworthy to, to build or grow, grow with or expand with here. If you have some sort of spiritual business, Scorpio, I feel like there is, um, or you're trying to start a spiritual business, uh, I do feel like there's success here. There's growth. Um, you do, you may have want, you may have somebody who wants to come in and collaborate with you at some point, but I do see growth if that's, if that's what you're doing here, Scorpio. I like it. I like it. A lot of you are, are doing things very much in silence, in secret with the high priestess here.
for some of you, there's something Scorpio, something you know about a work situation, a workplace that you're keeping to yourself right now. I don't know. I ain't even going to tap into that. I don't know why I'm getting this message. But this is confirmation for somebody. If you intuitively are picking up that there's something happening in a workplace, <clears throat> in particular with three people, trust your intuition here. All right, but I, I just, I don't feel like that's a big deal or something you need to worry about here, Scorpio. I just feel like this is, that was a confirmation for someone. Trust your intuition, okay? You could be 23 years old, 32 years old. Tell me more here for Scorpios. Why is Jupiter here? The star, Aquarius energy, Scorpio. So this is, this is. The sun at the bottom, Leo energy, a lot of happiness, Scorpio, wishes fulfilled, dreams coming true. Some of you, there's like, you're meant to be a star. You're meant to be in the public eye or have some sort of public platform. And if you already do, I see a lot more success coming in for you, Scorpio, really stepping into the limelight here. 11.22 on the timer. But even if you're not meant to be in the public eye, this could be something you do, a project, a book, or a song that like makes it into the public eye, Scorpio. It doesn't always have to be, you know, you being in the public eye. It could be something you're doing. Maybe you don't even want to be in the public eye. You want to be in the high priestess behind the scenes, right? But nonetheless, I feel like Scorpio, ultimate wish fulfillment here. This is the divine coming in with their blessings. A lot of you definitely are very connected or you, you work with the most high and with the, the divine here. But if you're looking for, for like stardom and fame or being in the public eye, Scorpio, I do see that coming in for you. There's definitely fortune, luck, abundance, and some sort of like you could end up being in the spotlight here for some of you. Yeah, definitely with the sun and the star. This is like exposure, but good exposure here, Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Cups under that. And then justice. This is definitely some sort of karmic justice and karmic rewards that are coming in for you. You could have Libra in your chart, okay? This could have to do with a Libra or there could be a situation here where Scorpio, uh, there was someone, there could be someone who could be in jail right now or prison or whatever. This is like, if this is somebody who did something to you or caused you any sort of harm, and this is why they're there. This is part of your karmic justice or karmic rewards, okay? I do feel like also there is someone in prison or jail here, Scorpio. And I'm not feeling spiritual, spiritual anything. I feel like this is very physical. Somebody is physically bound in jail or prison. And they're definitely watching you here. Watching you behind the scenes, however it is. Y'all, let me tell you something. I did not for the life of me know that you could have tablets in prison 13 13 on the timer i swear i learned that information and i was like what <laughs> so there's definitely somebody here who could be watching you from jail or from prison here uh watching you behind the scenes possibly rising into this stardom or this fame okay this could even be like you know you ending up on tv and this person is you know in wherever they are and you pop up on tv and it's just like what you know it could be something like that but regardless somebody's definitely watching you um from where they are okay scorpio you're there's a lot of success and happiness and joy coming in for you for sure Whew, i like this energy here scorpio everything you've put out is coming coming back times 10 Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, that's the Nine of Pentacles. This is you experiencing financial freedom, financial success, independence, looking good, smelling good, feeling whole within yourself and in your environment. That's, you know, five, uh, Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This is financial increase. That's almost getting to the Ten there, Scorpio, but the Nine of Pentacles is very comfortable. It's safe. It's secure. Get it. It's like... It's kind of giving me the energy of you getting it out of the mud here, Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles, like you put it up, put in all the work, the dedication, and the time to get to that Nine of Pentacles energy. Like that is where you're going. That is what you're building here. And the universe, the divine is helping you. <clears throat> 
Tell me more about Jupiter for Scorpio. The Six of Swords. There could be travel here that's coming in for you, Scorpio. Um, again, broadening your horizons. So you could be traveling, traveling the world, uh, being given the opportunity to travel. Some of you could be relocating and moving in order to um, expand or broaden your horizons as well. I do see a lot of peace coming in for you, a lot of tranquility. Uh, the calm after the storm is what this feels like. Being able to step into your north node, your purpose, your wishes, and moving forward with life here. I see a lot of healing here. A lot of healing, with, especially with the Queen of Cups. You could be a healer here, Scorpio. Queen of Cups, the star, the High Priestess, the Six of Swords. You could be a healer or a healer in the public eye. You could be seeing 6-6, 366, 369, 266. You could be seeing um, 212 as well. Look at that. The King of Cups at the bottom and we have the Queen of Cups. It's, this combo also keeps coming out in these readings. This King and Queen of Cups. So I also feel like Scorpio, part of this luck, fortune, and abundance is you possibly meeting someone. Could be another water sign. Doesn't have to be. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is somebody who's very inspired by you. They admire you. They find your mystery to be rather, I'm hearing the word ravishing. Ooh, <laughs> Scorpio. Somebody finds your mystery rather ravishing, okay? Um, they admire you. They're inspired by you. This is somebody who's completely like, they adore you. They're in love with you, Scorpio. Or they're going to be falling in love with you. But this is the king to your queen, queen to your king, however you put it. There could definitely be a lover coming in here. Somebody who's on the same page as you. And this person may want to come in and collaborate with you. There's going to be a lot of expansion between you and whoever this king of cups is, Scorpio. Somebody who you work with could end up wanting to, like falling in love with you or wanting to be with you here Scorpio but you definitely have I feel like this is an this is somebody who admires you they you're they're inspired by you the world yeah you again like I said you could be um in the public eye you could be uh with the star in the world here like you could be internationally known I'm internationally known on the microphone I really got a I really need a wife I got a girl at home something like that was that Diddy that said that shit I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. I need a girl to be my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, Scorpio, this is how this King of Cups could be looking at you. Male or female, whatever. You know, take it as it resonates. But, yeah. You could be uh, achieving something here, Scorpio. There's definitely some sort of, like, being in the limelight or the spotlight in some sort of way here. Interesting. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Yeah, a lot of you are healing from some sort of uh, betrayal, trauma, painful ending here. Alchemizing the pain and, and turning it into making your dreams come true, you know, basically. Yeah, there's definitely a lover situation, a soulmate coming in for you, Scorpio, as well, for sure. Whoever that King of Cups is, I just saw the Six of Cups, Temperance, that's soulmate energy. Mm. All right, so... Let me get another deck here. All right. Any other messages for Scorpios in regards to this? June 17th could be significant as well as June 6th, June 2nd, June 3rd. You could be, did I say 30, 36? You could be 36 years old, Scorpio, 32, 23, 36, 63. Okay. Or patterns of, where these numbers could be significant. Any other messages for Scorpios in regards to this? Six of Swords again, okay? Things may be feeling rather unsettled, but trust that where you are going is the best place for now. Let others help you along the way. It's that Three of Pentacles energy. You are heading in the right direction. This journey is not without its challenges. Learn to go with the flow rather than fight against it. Okay, so trusting your intuition. I feel like this. I feel like you very much are going with the flow. This feels like a very calm, peaceful, tranquil energy here. And spirit is saying, do not fight against the flow. 
it's going good just go with the flow here scorpio all right six of swords twice definitely could be seeing six 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 there's definitely some sort of transition that you're going through here scorpio where life is about to go through but it feels very 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 positive three of cups at the bottom so celebrations coming in okay i'm gonna read this real quick let your compass point towards play today be ready to attend a party if no one invites you then it's time for you to create your own joy the forecast is happy bright and upbeat reach out to the people who can change your mood from dull to bright celebrate the gift of these friendships all right so there could be an expansion in your friendships your soul tribe coming in but i definitely feel a lot of celebrations you could also be seeing three 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 a lot I don't know why I just grabbed this back and started shuffling again. Look at this. The Fool at the bottom. So definitely a new beginning. Taking a leap of faith. All right, Scorpios. Let's get some advice. Let me get the book real quick. All right, Scorpios. Let's get some advice. Advice for Scorpios at this time in regards to this message. Advice for Scorpios. Thank you. We have 41 Medicine Horse, Progress on the Path. All right, so there is progress on your path, Scorpio. We've had this card, card come out before, maybe about a month ago or so. Uh, all right, number 41. Let me scroll. Hold on. Okay. 41 Medicine Horse, Progress on the Path. I am medicine horse bringing you the message of freedom, journey, and progress. Do not act as you, do not act as you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not act as though you are a beast of burden. <laughs> Claim your innate divine dignity. Allow yourself to feel and be grateful. Recognize and honor your needs for rest, openness, safety, and respect. An ability to hear, know, and feel spiritual truth which will guide you in every aspect of your life journey is opening up. Connect with your spirit, live your truth. There is a powerful and sacred bond between your soul and the animal kingdom. If you have a beloved animal who has left this world for the spirit world, here is a message that this beautiful being is protected by great spirit and is loved and peaceful now. That creature is completely forgiven and completely forgiving. You are also guided to honor the inner knowing that flows naturally from your instincts and intuition, high priestess energy. As you respect your inner guiding wisdom, your life experience will improve. You will successfully navigate your way around negativity, healing spirit, healing, spirit communication and loving repair of the sense of self after any type of abuse is indicated. There is spiritual support and assistance for a journey ahead that will take you far. Progress is being made. All right, Scorpios. So a lot of luck fortune and abundance coming in moving forward there is progress on your path as you move forward keep staying hopeful optimistic trusting in the divine here scorpio a lot of you receive divine clear divine messages all right oh my loves all right i love it okay scorpios if this resonated like comment subscribe and share i love y'all until next time bye